Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. You know me, I'm Jeremy, and uh, I have my friend here. His name is Junji. Hello. Uh, so he's actually a professional IT engineer, which I'm gonna be, uh, he's gonna be helping me out today with the Wi-Fi test with the GoPro. We're gonna try to do a long distance range test uh, using the GoPro broadcasting to a smartphone or a tablet or a PC. So what are you gonna be helping me with today? We will use uh, a professional wireless access point produced by Ubiquiti Network called Rocket M2. Uh, Rocket M2 can extend the wireless range up to one mile or more. And we will use a dedicated Yagi antenna to direct the beam tower to the one point ahead. And it makes us allow to extend the wires up to one mile. One mile? Okay. Yeah, today is much number. All right, let's, yeah. let's, let's get this started then. That sounds good. Okay, we are setting up the one side of the Yagi antenna. Uh, like shape shows, this beam is towered against this direction. So the, we have to receive within the 12 degree ahead in the cone-shaped cone area. Of course, the set more center, uh, you got better signal. So the, even if it's a 12 degree, we should be within three degree or two degrees. So the distance, if I would have to estimate, is maybe about 30, 40 feet. Okay, so the idea is really simple. This GoPro Hero 3 broadcasts its Wi-Fi signal to this access point here. Then from that access point, it goes through the ethernet cable to that switch here. And from there, it goes to the other cable. Follow that down. And then you go to this other access point. That access point is connected to the Yagi antenna there. So the signal gets received on this other Yagi antenna here, which is then connected to this other access point. And then from there, it goes to his laptop through the yellow cable. And then we're using, if you've seen one of my other videos, I show you how to do um, a broadcast using VLC. So we connected to that, um, to that link there. Can you just leave the laptop and you walk up just to prove that it's actually okay. doing it? It's okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. There he goes. I can see him now. And now he's coming back. So now that we got this test out of the way, we can do a longer distance test, test up to a mile. And actually, if we have a really clear line of sight, we could probably do more than a mile, right? Yes, yes, yes. Maximum is like a 20 mile away, but I'm pretty sure our cheap Yagi antenna might not be walking on the 20 mile away. But it's yeah. still worth a try. So we're gonna try to go somewhere else now and do a longer distance test up to a mile and then we'll try to go further than that. Okay, let's go. So he's way down there. So we're having a problem with the setup right now. Junji's gonna come a little closer so it might be a little easier to set up. So it's, we're gonna try to get it to go to his car and then we'll go further and further. All right, so I think we got it. Junji just figured out something was set wrong. And let's see if he walks in front of the camera. There he is. So it's definitely working. All right, he's gonna pack up now and go further down the road. You can just see some stats here. We got a ping going. So the signal is definitely pretty strong. Might have to change the battery on this soon. All right, uh, Junji, I'm gonna hold up some fingers in front of the uh, the GoPro. Just tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Two fingers. Two fingers. All right, so it's definitely working. All right, he's going further down now. All right, let's do the finger test. How many fingers am I holding up? Two fingers, three. 
All right, cool. Um, there's this, there's this uh, guy that just pulled over. He's a little suspicious. He's probably gonna say something. So I think we're pretty much done for now. We can go somewhere else. So he's gonna move a little further now. Let's make sure this is still lined up. Looks good, all right, he's turning though. Yeah, I'm gonna hold some fingers up. Tell me how many. I'm getting to the wait. Hello, signal again. Hold on, I'm taking the antenna. The Okay, so actually his battery on his laptop just died, but it was just working. The problem was the signal was set to uh, really low, and he increased it by a thousand, he said, and he was able to get it to work. We did a quick test, the finger test, Put my, I put two fingers up and he was able to see my two fingers. So yeah, that looks like it was successful. Once I get home, I'm gonna check Google Maps and see exactly what the distance was between here and down over there. It's not a mile, so we'll have to do this again sometime in the near future. Let's see what Junji has to say when he pulls up here. So what do you think? Oh, it's okay, yeah. As far as we had a line of sight, it's no problem. This distance is no problem at all. Yeah, uh, next time we have to find a uh, line of sight someplace without any blockage and uh, clutter or reflection from the uh, flow, uh, road or floor is very serious because the beam is going like a, um, um, I don't say, cone shape and uh, even the height from the uh, load is still affected so that's why most of the distant antenna is on top of the building or on top of the towers because they want to get rid of the uh, reflect from the floor.